Salud familia! Today uh, I'm going to live stream how I plan my perfect day and in hopes to give you an insight of you know what I do. A lot of people tell me all the time, hey, Angel, how come you do so much, etc., etc. Other people, I hear other people say, if you uh, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. But you know what? I don't think that really um, applies to a lot of people because because no not everybody say, hey, you know what, I just want to fail. In business, we're told, yeah, fail fast, fail, fail forward, fail fast, uh, but not, not everybody wants to fail. So why people don't, why people don't plan their days? And, and if you're joining us, please just say hi. Uh, I'm going to share with you a few things that uh, I'm doing. I'm, trying, I'm, I'm actually going to plan my day live with you, my ideal day, planning my ideal day. And uh, so, why uh, why people don't plan? Well, maybe they don't know. Maybe they haven't experienced. Maybe you haven't experienced the benefit of planning a a uh, your perfect day. And maybe you don't know how, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm testing out a new location. Probably I will be do if 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 it looks good or if the sound if the sound is okay, just give me a thumbs up and. Uh, I'm gonna put some lights here and I'm gonna start doing some more quick videos. I'm minimizing the time I, I, anyway that's a conversation for another for another video but you will see in the in the future it's gonna be more live videos. So how I start planning my day well I did share a template and I'm gonna share in the comments below so you can uh, you can see it and I'm going to share the templates in the comments below right now. Yeah here's the template that I use. Here is the template I use to plan my ideal day. I'm typing it so you know you can have it and you can follow along. But on a nutshell, the first one of the first thing I do is I look my my calendar, my Google Calendar, and and I will look my Google Calendar and I want to see upcoming appointments so I'm ready. And the reason I started doing that is because. In the past, in my early days of entrepreneurs and active duty, being a father, etc., I found that I, when I, I didn't review what was coming, I, I show up unprepared or I schedule two things too close to each other. Uh, sometimes I show up late. Uh, I was stressed. So by not by reviewing what's coming up allows me to better prepare, better schedule, have less stress, live a little bit happier. So next week I'm looking, I have two interviews or two live calls um, on Monday. They're spread apart, so I'm good. I can drop off and pick up the kids, no problem. I have a Facebook Live at 1 p.m. Have another call on Wednesday, on Friday. I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do in this, in my current lifestyle is to Book just have one major activity per day, and the other ones are according to the plan. And then on when on actually on Wednesday, you know what? No, on Wednesday I have a a I got I got you see that's what I'm looking. I'm looking. I have a a scheduling conflict, so I'm going to send a message to the person right now live. Hey, can we change it to Friday? So change it to Friday. Let me look, let me look, let me look. I'm gonna do it right now live. Hey, can we change it to Friday? I think he said Friday was okay. It was Wednesday or Friday. Let me double check. Uh, let me double check. Let me double check. Uh, Wednesday or Friday, Friday, change it. Yep, Friday. So hopefully, because I will tell you why. Here's the deal. On Wednesday is not is my wife days off, and one thing that I, is in my goals is always to improve my relationship with my kids, my relationship with my wife. So whenever she's off, I try I do my best to spend it with her and not book any business activities if I can avoid it. So that means that yeah, I, this Wednesday I'm just going to take her to the beach and you know have, do something uh, without the kids leave as soon as uh, go to the beach as soon as they, uh, we drop off the kids at, uh, at the bus stop 
and then come back a little bit before. So that's going to be my day off uh, with her. And everything else on Saturday, I have another appointment, business appointment. So this next week is good. One thing that I also do is I review what happened the week pre before and, and I want to see if I have to follow up with anybody. And I make a note. What I do is I, I open my notes, my iPhone notes, or, or a notepad or a piece of paper. It's really, you know, it's really up to you, whatever you use, but that's what I do. And I I am going to I'm gonna look see if I have to follow up with anybody, you know, birthdays, appointments, people that you met, uh, new app that I um, it's called it's called Cam Card, I think it is. It's allowing me to scan the business cards and I can create follow-ups as immediately. So I did a I did a uh, I spoke at Connect Bradenton last Thursday, so I gotta edit that video and share it. But this last week, nothing that I have to follow. So now, after I do that, I look at my agenda what are my goals and what I try to do is okay so I I have I have themed my days so I have a a kind of template that I use so it allows me to stay consistent on things that are giving me results and always leave room to try new things and, and I have themed my days uh, on Mondays Tuesdays Wednesday etc so Mondays are live stream and I do have the live stream in the uh, in the calendar, Tuesdays is a content creation, uh, Wednesdays promotion. Every day I block time to work on a client job or client project and I have a list of pending projects. So I do schedule that time and that goes after I look, after I look uh, what I have to do in my team days. The team days is like the, the, What gets move my, my business forward? What it keeps getting me clients? What you know, following up, keeping the clients happy. Those things are important, and and you know, always always take you know always work on client projects, of course, because you you know that's what they pay you for. So those are the first two things that I do, and then I look you know what are what are are my other ideal days. I do have a ideal day, like I draw my ideal day, how I would love my ideal day to look, and it would look like I wake up around 4, 4.30, I, I speak with my wife a little bit, my wife lives about five, and then I do emails between like 4.30 and 5.30, I am inbox zero, from 5.30 to 6.30, I typically do a client project, uh, do at least an hour, I get at 6.30, I get the kids ready, between 6.30 and 8, I get I eat breakfast, and I get the kids ready to school, and and I you know start my day from there. Content creation, launch social media, email, uh, sales, marketing, uh, kids homework, family time, bed, you know, etc., etc. So I do that. But one thing that I also do is I look. I do have a rolling to do list or you know my weekly plan, and I look what I didn't accomplish last week that I need to I like I need to triage my to do list and I need to make sure that I accomplish this week. Um, I didn't went, I didn't cover all or didn't answer all my Facebook messages, so I need to do that, prioritize that this week. Uh, it's going to happen uh, on Monday morning, uh, right after my email, so I'm going to schedule that in Facebook, Facebook Zero. I call it Facebook Zero. So on first thing is on, on Monday, so fir first thing on Monday is uh, email and then Facebook Zero, email, Facebook zero and then content creation i got a i have a marketing workshop that i'm going to be doing so i need to come up with the bullet points for that one so i gotta come up with the bullet point for that one that's critical i gotta do that one and update my you know what how often you update your follow-up sequence that's something uh i've been i've been updating my mar list of marketing ideas and uh, one every day I'm doing something that captured awareness and, and improved the relationship with somebody, and, uh, and 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 it's working. It's working. So, with that said, by the way, if you want them, just send me a message, and I definitely will send them to you. But planning my ideal days, I run my day the way I want. It. I schedule things. I book things. It doesn't. It doesn't mean 
that something is, is going to happen. If something might happen, like a, you know, you had a flat tire, you hit traffic or an accident, something it will be my something might be in my way of to you know of getting things done of you know my sanity my peace or you know but if I don't schedule and I don't use this plan to do to have the day or at least run the day the best to the best of my ability to, to according to plan then uh, I I will be starting blind I, I will be going nowhere you know. I will start my day without direction. And this definitely is direction. So I do have, uh, basically, and, and if you look at the template after, you know, you block time to promote existing content, you know, if you don't block time to promote your existing content, as an entrepreneur, business owner, you know, why you created it, you gotta promote it. Uh, I, I, I'm always looking to interview somebody I use interviews to learn something about a specific subject. And of course, I, I, I promote the person, but I think one of the things that separates me from other people that interview uh, is that I actually ask questions that I wanna know the answer. So it's not it's not scripted, it's you know like, okay, I wanna know, for example, in the next up, up, upcoming weeks, I wanna know more about LinkedIn. So I'm gonna look people, I wanna interview people that know about LinkedIn and I have gain results on LinkedIn. So I want to ask some questions. I schedule time to, or I make sure that in my to-do list is uh, to send an email update to uh, my follower friends and clients. Uh, and then I plan that at least lunch with my wife and that's going to be on Wednesday. Uh, always schedule time to check email, exercise, and uh, plan to, you know, whatever content you're going to create, new content or document, um, just, you know, be aware and outline it. So one thing that I that I do that I haven't shared and I'm gonna end up with this is because already my calendar for next week looks good. And this is the thing, the more you do it, the the faster it is. It, it probably is gonna be 10 minutes, 15 at the most. So here's the deal. I do have a, a, a calendar here and you can download a calendar from Google Docs or even your Word document. And what I do is, for example, March, I have something every day. And this is not appointment. This is not, I gotta go to the beach or lunch with my wife. This is, uh, this is. Uh, by the way, if you're watching, or just come on and say hi, just leave a comment below. Hi, I'm Ana Maria. Uh, so he, here's the deal. I have, like I'll give you a rundown, just to give you some ideas. Facebook Live on Monday, that's a, uh, Actually, I gotta start on Thursday. On Thursday, the first. I missed three days. No, actually, I put them here. I put them here, so I gotta transcribe them. So on on the first is going to be a YouTube video about validation, cold clients, uh, uh, data backing clients. Don't throw away your. What the heck it says there? Oh, phone books. So I got a video about phone books, sales video. So things that I put here are ideas to create awareness and to help me make them, you know, uh, move forward, uh, add value to the clients and help me make the next sale, create awareness. So one one thing, one problem that entrepreneurs have is people call it the shiny object syndrome or distractions. So every time you get an idea, you, you know, by default, most entrepreneurs, and I used to be like that, I used to just, stop what I was doing and execute the next idea. So what I did uh, to start mitigating that problem was to write it in a piece of paper, but I wasn't doing anything with that piece of paper. So now what I do is I put it on a, on a calendar and I, and I know that when I plan my week, I know that I'm going to block for next week. Next week, I'm going to have a, you see today is how I plan my week. Tomorrow is a Facebook Live. Uh, uh, and then I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna block this time, and I know I have a plan that I'm going to execute every day to create awareness. And one thing that, I, and I have one thing every single day, my days in the Dominican Republic, because we're going on vacation, so those are my, some days that I, um, we might be skipping, in April we're going to Disney World, you know, and, and one thing every single day. So I use this, calendar as my marketing editorial calendar, but in a way that also allows me to 
eliminate distractions. I get an idea, I read something, I heard something on a video, I want to try it out, I put it up. It has a date. So it's going to be in the future, but at least it's out of my head. It's not bothering me. It's not taking me, taking my resources or my energy, and I just keep executing. And that's how I'm able to stay happy, have the best day ever, spend time with my kids, with my wife, uh, you know, take care of business, always be busy with work and have the lifestyle that I, that I want to have. But again, this is how I plan. You can use the template to give you an idea and starting ground to plan your week, to plan your ideal day. And I encourage you to use it. And if you do, please, you know, just share how, how long it took you, what you did that it worked, what didn't work. And, you know, if you're looking for some marketing ideas to, you know, block the day, just reach out and uh, I'll be releasing some, some marketing lists of marketing ideas uh, soon, but you can be one of the few that tries them before I release them to the public. So anyhow, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm going to have lunch with my kids and I guess, uh, you know, I'll see you next time. Peace out.